We are learning about a very special Veterans Day celebration that took place inside a Manchester hospital. It was a small parade with a very big meaning. Jean Mackin shares the story. It had all the pomp and patriotism of the grandest Veterans Day parade. Every heart beats true for the red, white, and blue. The crowd may not have been huge, but the hearts here at Elliott Hospital in Manchester sure were. We had a World War II veteran um, as a patient on our unit, and he was telling us stories um, about his, you know, time at the Battle of the Bulge. And I, we just couldn't believe that he's 93 years old. Registered nurse Carly Titches decorated the room of World War II veteran Alexander Peters to lift his spirits. He was really anxious to go home, and I was like, Al, oh, why do you want to go home so bad? He's like, I got to make the, the Veterans Day parade. While Manchester's parade was rained out after all, there was nothing but sunshine and fanfare inside the hospital hallway. The emblem of the land. The most magical moment was when he started singing the Star Spangled Banner, and we all like stopped and listened, and we were all crying. Mr. Peters did get to go home from the hospital by the end of Veterans Day. He told us he wasn't up to talking about his personal parade, that he already got a lot of attention, and Nurse Carly made sure of that. My grandfather is a veteran as well, so it was kind of special to me. I really think it meant a lot to him. I mean, he started tearing up when we were all singing with him, so. I think we couldn't have honored him in any other way. In Manchester, Gene Mackin, WMUR News 9.